This video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three ways to transform your emotions, and I'm gonna share with you a meditation that will help to really wire this in in a very powerful way. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron, and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you those three ways that you can raise your vibration and also transform your emotions because emotions and vibrations are one of very similar things. Think of emotions as energy in motion and that emotion, the energy in motion that we put towards our desires, that we put towards feeling good in the present moment will profoundly affect everything around us. And that vibration is resonating with certain experiences in our life. So when we change our emotions, we change our vibration. And when we do so, it can absolutely transform our life. Now, here's the thing. What I've been doing is I have been doing videos that are geared at transformation with about five, 10, 15 minutes of content and then going into the meditation. The meditations wire in the ideas in a very powerful way. And that's why maybe you've seen these uh, type of style. Let me know in the comments if you like this style video. If so, I will continue to keep doing it. I love hearing how much you guys enjoy the meditations. So let me know what you guys think though. So let's go ahead and go into understanding this concept. Now, when it comes to our emotions, know that the power is really in the awareness over anything else. Because many times we've run emotions based on prior experience and patterns. So many times we're actually addicted to certain emotions that we're not even aware of. And maybe you've noticed this because maybe there's been people in your past that always seem to come up, come back, or maybe it's even different people with a similar energy. I know I had that as an experience as well. So what happened was is because I had certain experiences that happened in the past that kind of triggered a certain pattern within me, and a lot of times the emotion was telling me that I was out of alignment with my true source. You can think of emotions as a relationship between your inner world and your outer world. And when you are connected to source, when you are connected to what some people call their higher selves, you are able to feel in that stream of energy. And when you find yourself trailing off with negative emotion, that's telling you that you are out of alignment with the natural core essence of who you are. So when you start to become aware of it, that's the power because then you can start to put it more into the alignment with what you want to really experience. So the first one modality that I'm going to be talking about is one that is called EFT. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. Now, EFT is a very powerful way for releasing stored energy within the body. What you do is it's called tapping. What you do is there's certain parts of the body that have within it certain, uh, you could think of it like the nerves that run through their body. Think of it as acupuncture. There's certain energy that is stored in certain parts of the body. And many times our emotions are stored based on prior experience inside of our body. And if we don't allow it, we don't process it, it remains there. So sometimes we may say, oh, because I'm not thinking about something else, I'm not thinking about this bad situation in the past, therefore it has no effect on me. But if the energy is stored within the body or with the, even the energy body, then that continues to be something that will play itself out even at subconscious levels. So the key is understanding that it is okay to express emotion, it's okay to feel emotion, and when you start to feel the emotion that sometimes has been bottled up from the past, you can actually process it and let it go. You know, many times, sometimes we will create for ourselves and say, I'm better than that. I don't, I'm not supposed to be feeling that negative emotion that happened when I was younger or whatever it is. Then we start to repress it. It's something that remains bottled up. For many years, I was angry because I had experiences between the ages of seven to 15 when my ex stepmom was in my life and she was very controlling, she was very manipulative. And I bottled up a lot of anger because I was like, why did all of this happen? Even after 15, when my dad divorced her, after that period, all of a sudden, me and my uh, brother, we had all this freedom. We were able to eat more food because before that, we had like sneak food because we weren't allowed to eat very much. So we were very malnutritioned. We were uh, kind of angry that we didn't have a childhood. We didn't have many friends until 15. And then all of a sudden, we're allowed to have friends. So we were grateful, but at the same time, kind of angry that all of that happened. That remained repressed. And the funny thing is, is I found that many people in my life that were in my life, even after she left my ex-stepmom, 
there were other people that would have similar traits. So for example, I had an ex-girlfriend that had very similar traits and that was like right after that situation, then I had that happen and it was like, it was a different person but it was similar traits and then after that, one of the jobs that I had for years, I had a manager that was the same type of energy as my ex-stepmom. This is the funny thing. When I started to do EFT, when I started to observe and you learn some of the stuff I'm telling you today, I let it go out of my energy body. I learned it transformed my consciousness, to be honest with you. And from that point going forward, some people just dropped out of my life. There was that manager that I was talking about that was very controlling, that was very manipulative. She got away with a lot because she was protected by upper management back where I used to work at Nordstrom's. And what happened was is she would never get fired because she was protected. Within weeks of learning this technique, she got fired for something that they couldn't overlook. And everyone was happy. It was almost like a celebration. Not in a mean way. She was just very, uh, very rude to people. It was just a, something that was really like a reflection that, hey, you've let this pattern go. This no longer serves you. So what, may you, what you may find happens is you let go of patterns that no longer serve and then everything changes in your life. Now, if you want to learn more about EFT, I have a free training that I'm going to be doing. And what you can do is in the top of the description box below, you can sign up. I'm going to be doing an emotional transformation process training series, which will consist of three videos that will show you exactly how to do all of this. So if you want to join that, you can go ahead and put, uh, click the email in the top of the description box. And from there, you will get emails that will show you the videos that will help you to transform your emotions in a very powerful way. So EFT will help you to release the emotions that are stored. What you do is you activate the cellular structure of those emotions by tapping on certain parts of your body and then you love yourself and accept yourself from feeling it and in that you start to let it flow. You start to let it go. So you see how that rhymes? And that's something that's very powerful because then you let go of those subconscious blocks, things in your life that no longer serve you, you can then actually let go of. Now, the second process or way that you can raise your vibration and transform your emotion has to do with a simple idea. It's called observing and letting go. Observe everything from a neutral place. Everything in your life is fundamentally neutral except for the meaning you give it. The meaning you give it is the self-fulfilling prophecy. So for example, if I were to say, Goglamosh, Goglamosh, what does that mean to you? Well, unless you can tag that word to something else that something else means to you, if I said Goglamosh, you wouldn't necessarily know what that means. So you'd be like, oh, it's pretty neutral. I don't know what it means. So therefore, I don't know how I feel about it. But if I was to tell you that Goglamosh means connection to the heart space and an expansion of love, you may be, I like that word. That's a cool word because now you know the meaning of it. So you see, it's like the meaning is what determines how we relate to it. If we have a connotation, if we have something that we're like, hey, to me, the gym is a very positive experience because I love going to the gym. I feel positive emotion when I'm at the gym, even though I'm breaking down muscle, even though some people would consider that being sore the next day was pain, I consider it pleasure because it makes me know that I did something, I pushed myself the day before. I associate it with pleasure. Some people may associate it with pain because of the way they relate to it. So understand that a lot of what we experience in our life is simply the way that we relate to what is happening, the meaning we give it. So there's ways of transforming our emotions. And when we learn how to observe things from a neutral point of view, that's where everything begins to change. And the way we do that is by learning to first off observe our thoughts. Because when we observe our thoughts, we then realize that if we do that in the first 10, 15 minutes of our day, that will leak into the rest of our day. And we will see that that is something that kind of ripples out. So that's something also that I'll be teaching in that emotional transformation training that I'll be doing. That's in the top of the description box below. It's absolutely free training. So if you are interested, once again, there it is in the top of the description box. And the third way is a way that I think is a lot underemphasized in personal development in general. And that's understanding the story we tell ourselves and the self-image. Because many times with the idea of the emotions we have, we have a certain set point. And that set point of where we think our emotions generally are is something we will always subconsciously remain consistent to because of our self-image. So one thing that did happen is when I had my spiritual awakening back in 2012, I learned how to observe my thoughts. I learned how to tell myself a new story rather than the story of the painful childhood. What happened was my emotional set point went from about a one out of 10 being at a three to a five to all of a sudden being at a seven, eight or a nine out of 10. 
and I, I didn't understand it, but it felt really good. And I remember walking around thinking, is this feeling going to go away? I don't want this feeling to go away. I wasn't, I'm not saying I'm enlightened. I'm just saying that I moved my, my emotional set point so much through observation, meditation, EFT, all of these things that then it was a completely new reality. And with that was a new story, a new self image that came with that because that became my natural set point. And that's why I am creating this series that will help transform emotions because I believe that when you change your emotional set point, your everything in your life changes. Not only your level of consciousness, but you start to manifest things in a much easier way because you're coming at it from a higher level of consciousness. You're not trying to manifest something, create something in your life from a paradigm of lack, of saying, I don't have this, therefore I want that. Of saying, I feel angry for this that happened in the past, but I want abundance. I'm angry that that person over there has more money, but I want abundance. You see, there's conflicting levels of consciousness. So what this helps to do is this helps to raise the level of consciousness and then we start to tell ourselves this new story that we are not the result of our past. We are who we choose to be in the present moment right now now. So like I said, this is something that I think is a very transformative idea. These three ways are ways that you can transform your emotional set point and also raise your vibration. And so it's a very powerful thing. And what I'm going to be doing now is moving into a quick meditation that will help you to transform the way you view that of your emotions. That will help to transform the way you view you as your self-image with emotions. And what you're going to be able to do is let go of the lower emotions. We'll do a visualization exercise for it. And what then, we'll then do is have the self-image of ourselves existing in this new emotional set point. What this will help do is prime us for having the kind of experiences that we want. And what I encourage you to do is to right now set the intention that after this meditation you feel transformed. That you feel like your emotions have risen. Even if it's just three to four notches, it nonetheless has, ra has been raised and you can then go on in a new type of way with a new type of vibrational frequency. So let's go ahead right now. We're gonna take a deep breath in, a deep breath out. And with every breath that we take, let's feel ourselves relax more and more. So let's take a deep breath in. Breathe it out and feel your body relax more and more. Now put your hands over your heart center because the electromagnetic energy of your heart is thousands of times more powerful than that of the head. And the more awareness we put into the heart, the more we grow this electromagnetic energy, which is also tied to our emotions. Now let's take another deep breath in, deep breath out. Now feel yourself let go, relax more and more. Now I encourage you that if you can to close your eyes and to know that with every breath you take, your body is sinking into more and more relaxation, more and more of a state of ease, more and more of who you really are. Now imagine that there is a ball of energy inside of your heart, and that this ball of energy is any shade, any color that you like, and imagine that this ball of energy starts to spin clockwise inside your heart center. And the faster this ball spins, the more you feel a warmth energy inside of your chest, the more you feel love starting to increase in your heart center, in your chest, and feel it now. That ball of energy is spinning faster and faster, and the faster it spins, the more you feel this love energy, and the faster it spins, the more you feel this warmth in your heart. And know that now you are embodying more of your core frequency of who you really are. Now imagine yourself in a very relaxing place. This can be a place outside, it can be a place inside, it could be at a park, it could be at a forest or in the, on the beach. 
whatever you want. Imagine that you are in some serene place that you can imagine. Now look around and pay attention to your environment. Pay attention to what you can see. Look around, notice the colors. Now imagine those colors becoming brighter and brighter. Imagine the kind of sounds that you can hear. Imagine those sounds becoming louder and louder. Now notice how comfortable it feels. And put the awareness inside of your heart center. Now walk and take some steps and notice that in the distance you see a chest. This chest looks like something you may store something in, looks kind of like a treasure chest that you may have seen before. Walk over to this chest and open it up and know that what you can do is you can put in anything that you're worried about. You can put in any lower emotions that you may feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Anything that you feel is something that you want to transform. And understand that on the top of this box is marked your emotional set point. Now, what you can do is you can put in anything that doesn't serve you and there's a button and what you can do is on this chest, you can push that button and it will transform your emotions and it will transform those emotions into something positive, something that actually benefits you. Now put in all of those emotions that don't serve you. Put in anything that you want to transform, any relationships you want to heal, anything you can imagine. Imagine it being put into this chest. And imagine that now what you can do is you can close this chest and you can look at that button, that button for transformation, that button that will neutralize any negative energy that will allow you to transform it into something positive. Because remember, everything in life is fundamentally neutral. We give it meaning. So if there's any negative experiences that have happened in the past, understand that you can get from it a positive effect because you can learn from it. You can see it from a new perspective and know that in a second, when you push this button, what is going to happen is those emotions are going to transform and you are going to also transform the way you see yourself. Because as you let go of those lower emotions, you're going to start to realize that your set point has been risen, that you start to see yourself as more of a happy person. You start to see yourself as somebody that exists in a higher vibrational, emotional state of being. So now what we're going to do as on the count of five, 
what I'm going to do is count from five to one, and with every number I count, you're going to feel more and more of this energy leave your body, more and more of this energy be transformed, and you're going to simply know that your emotion has been transformed. With every number I count, you will feel more of this energy, like you're able to let go more and more. You'll feel this energy leave your body. You'll feel your heart begin to buzz with the love sensation even more. Five, feel this energy now, knowing that you are ready to let it go. Four, feel yourself, this energy spinning faster and faster. Three, two, at the count of one, we are now going to see and feel that energy leave our body, that energy be transformed through this chest. We will feel like a completely new person. One, one, now you feel completely revitalized. You feel completely like a new person. Notice now how different you feel. Notice how happy you feel. Now notice that you can see on your left hand side next to this chest, a mirror. And on this mirror, it is marked your new emotional set point. Now go over and take a few steps toward this mirror and understand that the self image you see in this mirror is the best version of yourself existing with the emotions that you prefer. Now look at your reflection and notice how perfect you look, how there's a glimmer in your eye, how happy you look. Pay attention now and notice the kind of energy you have, how light it feels, how easy it is for you to give any situation, anything that happens a positive meaning and therefore get a positive effect out of it. You know that you are transformed. What we are going to do now is we are going to anchor this in and anchor this self image so that from this point going forward, you are a completely new person. Now look at that self image. What you're going to do, you're going to smile. You're going to put your hand up to the mirror. And what I'm going to do is count down from five to one with every number I count and feel your hand getting closer and closer to the mirror. And at one, when your hand touches the mirror, you're going to feel a surge of energy flow through your body that's going to connect this emotional set point and anchor it into your body. This, from this point going forward, that is who you are and you will feel forever changed. Now put your hand, I'm going to count down from five to one with every number I count, you feel more connected to this part of you. You feel more love in your heart center. Five, feel your hand now getting closer and closer to the mirror. And the closer it gets, the more you feel this love. Four, feel this relaxation through your body knowing that you are making positive change. Three, feel this energy now raising your heart center. Two, energy in your heart spinning faster and faster. And one, now your hand is touching your reflection. You feel this surge of energy go through your hand, go into your heart, go down into your feet, and you know that from this point going forward, you are forever changed. This is who you are. Now notice, as you look into the mirror, how you feel a one-on-one -on -one reflection because you know that you are now the best version of yourself. And set the intention now that throughout your day to day, you will get a new reflection of this emotional state of being that is now who you are. Set the intention that anything that comes up throughout your day, you're able to observe it from a neutral place. And you're able to know that things are what you make it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count down from five to one. With every number I count, you're going to feel yourself 
become more alert, present to the moment, knowing that your emotions have transformed. Five, feel yourself now becoming more alert and present. Four, three, start to wiggle your toes, start to understand that you can start to open your eyes. Two, one, zero. You can open up your eyes now, feel alert, present to the moment, knowing that you have just transformed yourself. Transformation can really happen in the matter of a moment if we choose it to. It can be as simple as we make it. Now, if you want more guidance and more training on this, there's free training in the top of the description box below, like I mentioned earlier in the vid. Go and sign up for that. I'll teach you EFT. I'll teach you some powerful processes that you can use that I think can absolutely transform your life. And understand that our emotions have a very determining factor of what we experience in our life. And when we change our emotions, we change our life. We change the leverage with the actions we take and everything begins to change. Now, something else I'll be doing is I'll be doing more live Q&As on Instagram. I'll also be doing meditations on Instagram. So if you want more of an interaction, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll go ahead and link it right below. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification gear so that you can see the daily vids that I do. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.